of those rotations will actually lead to stair kinderens. So not all of these angles can actually rotate in specific ways. Not all of these bonds can rotate in specific ways. And that's actually a good thing because what that means is if there are a limited number of ways that our rotations of these two torsion angles can actually take place, that means the polymer, the linear polymer amino acids, has to go through less number of these rotations to eventually end up with that final three-dimensional structure of our protein. So what we conclude is that every protein contains a primary structure which is basically a specific sequence of nucleotides, a specific sequence of amino acids that is unique to that specific protein. And it's the sequence of amino acids that ultimately determines what the three-dimensional structure of that protein is.